Welcome to SBOE Connect video demonstration. So in this demonstration in next 40 to 45 minutes we will discuss how Magento e-commerce and SAP Business One ERP system can be effectively and efficiently integrated through SBOE Connect integration platform. So SBOE Connect basically an integration connector between Magento and SAP Business One which seamlessly integrates between these two platform and provide a bi-directional sync between this e-commerce and this ERP system. So before moving into the discussion, let's have a look at the agenda of uh, today's demonstration. So first I will brief you about the company which is behind the product development named SBOE Connect. The name of the company is NSYNC Solutions. After that we will directly get into the product SBOE Connect, its integration points that are available between Magento e-commerce and SAP Business One ERP system. After that we will discuss some advanced features which are available and introduced within the product in the latest version which is 2.3 which supports multiple connection between Magento e-commerce, multiple websites of Magento and multiple companies of SAP Business One system. And we will also discuss how this product can be a perfect fitment for your business growth. So, Let's get into this uh, agenda points one by one. InSync Solutions is the company behind the product development SBOE Connect. InSync is in the market in IT specifically in 2006, providing Magento services for more than three years and involved into in SAP Business One sales and implementation for more than four years. We have more than 65 customers across the globe and a large partner channel which supports the implementation and the brand awareness for this product. InSync is an SAP SSP partner, Microsoft Gold's partner for ISB competency and Magento industry partner. As well as this product SBOE Connect is tested using the Intel tools and best run on Intel processors. We are also Intel software partner. Moving into the next discussion points, we will now focus on our product. SBOE Connect. So SBOE Connect as I mentioned in the earlier section of introduction, SBOE Connect is an integration platform. It's a flexible integration platform which provides a fully bi-directional sync between Magento e-commerce and SAP Business One. Provides a communication channel between these two platforms for a quick data integration. By, by bi-directional me, uh, sync I mean that Magento data can be synced back to SAP Business One ERP system as well as the business owner has the opportunity to upload and promote the data available within the ERP system to the Magento websites. So in this way it establishes a two-way communication channel. The, any kind of changes, updates related to your mission critical data like the customer data, order information, item information, item updates any kind of stock updates, synchronization of invoices, synchronization of ship shipments and deliveries can be seamlessly done through this integration platform. Thus it saves your manpower, reduces the human errors which will happen if you do the double entry of data manually within the second system and you can expect more return on your investments through SBOE Connect. So these are the standard integration points which are available within the product. Customers, items, payment through invoices, shipping, orders, stock. So all the required integration points which are available which are possible between these two platforms for a synchronization. SB Connect provides and covers all those all possible integration points. We will definitely get into each and every of uh, the value proposition of each and every integration points through this uh, demonstration. So moving forward. So let's get into the integration points one by one. So this is the integration points we have shown in the earlier slide and here I am discussing about what are available on these points. So customer order, item stock, shipping, invoices. These are the integration points which are available under this uh, uh, integration uh, channel. Uh, so SBOE Connect basically provides all these integration and we will discuss all these integration uh, through our demo server which is available with us 
and I will show you how the data integration happens. So let's concentrate one integration point uh, at a time. So the first integration point is customer. So SBA Connect provides you the ability that whenever any web customer registered in any website, because you all know that Magento supports multiple website connection. So whenever any customer registered in any Magento website, it can be downloaded to the SAP company databases. As well as the customer billing shipping addresses, it can be multiple addresses, the other contact information, customer group information, all the data available within the e-commerce system will be available within your backend ERP system. The SAP user will get an alert that a new customer has been registered or the new customer has been updated. An old customer has updated something. So in this way, SBU kind of provides the integration features within uh, the uh, customer integration. As well as the business owner has the ability to upload their trusted ERP customers. It can be B2B uh, customers. They, can, they have the ability to upload those B2B customers to the web, create their web account automatically. That customers will get an email regarding their login. They can log in their account and moving forward, they can place their orders directly within the portal. Obviously, the business owner has the choice to assign them under a particular group. It can be like wholesaler or it can be like retailer differentiating the general web customers with the uh, ERP customers in this way. So let's get into the our demonstration server and let's see how this customer integration works between the e-commerce and the ERP system. So as you can see in this screen, this is a Magento demo store which I have for today's demonstration. So this store is not, uh, this store is specific for this demonstration so that's why it's not well designed as you know. Definitely the live stores will be more designed and uh, developed as per the business requirement. So here I'm logging in. Being uh, an end user, I first log into the website. I straight away go to create an account. In create an account, I'm providing a, an address and a name Suppose it's Rob Daniels. Address is Rob at the rate gmail.com. I'm putting a password for this. So here my account is created within the Magento e commerce system without all other information. So I have not added my default billing or default shipping address here. So let's add some addresses quickly. So whenever any web customer register within the web, the data, the customer information, addresses and other contact information will be automatically downloaded to SAP Business One without any human intervention. All the integration points which are available within SBU Connect are work in a fully automatic manner. So let's go to the company I'm provide Daniels INC is the company name I'm providing a telephone number quickly and fax number I can also provide I'm omitting here I'm putting an address 12 Park Avenue city I'm selecting as New York state I'm selecting New York and SZPOR postal code here Am I ready? I'm ready for saving this address. So in this way, customer will register and customer will put enter their billing shipping address and other contact information like telephone numbers or fax numbers within the Magento e-commerce platform. Through SBU eConnect, this whole details will be automatically downloaded to the SAP Business One system. So let's let's now uh, go into our demo SAP server the test company and check about these details. So I have just logged in within my SAP Business One server. Let's check through the business partners. So the new web customer as well as if any web customer update their information, all information will be added within the business partner master data of SAP Business One. So let's go to business partner master data Let's quickly search through the new customer Rob. 
So this is the web customer which is added within Magento e-commerce and this web customer has been downloaded to SAP Business One system as you can see. As well as I can see a new alert came in within my system. So if uh, SAP Business One user follow the alert they will understand who are the new uh, customer which has been registered. As you can see new web order has been placed. So all things will come up as uh, all things will come up as an alert to the SAP Business One user like for this customer also. Being a SAP user I got the alert that this customer has been registered. So in this way whenever any customer registered it will pop up an alert. It will download all the data to the SAP Business One business partner master data like the telephone numbers, email ID. It will also showcase some of uh, the users uh, user defined fields within SAP Business One where it will show some Magento details like the web customer group or from which website customer has registered. So in this way you will understand as well as the addresses. If customer has multiple addresses it will download all the addresses to the SAP Business One Business Partner Master Data Addresses tab. So in this way the integration work for the customer download process. Now let's say being a business owner if you'd like to upload your trusted wholesalers to the web, create a new account for them, later on want to assign them to a particular group, web customer group called wholesaler. How you can do that? So I will start with a new record. Let's say I start with a new record called C0098. This is my, one of my wholesaler named Thomas Webel. and I would like to I'm just providing the required information only the email ID will going to be the login user ID for the web account so I need to provide an email ID here like thomas at the rate uh, thomas1 at the rate gmail.com I need to select uh, for uploading I need to assign this customer under some customer group within Magento so that facility I have within my SAP Business One itself. So if I want to assign this customer to the wholesale group I can control it from here. So I'm assigning this customer to wholesale customer group because this is one of my wholesalers. I would like to upload this customer to my base website and I can provide some as well as I can provide some addresses, some telephone numbers, uh, everything, every contact information I can provide here. So for this demonstration I'm omitting those things. So once this data is complete you just need to click on this web customer flag. This web customer flag will differentiate your default ERP customers and your web customers who have their presence within the ERP system. So I would like to upload this trusted wholesaler to the web so I'm checking out this web customer flag and click on the add button. Okay I need to select a gender also. I'm selecting not specified as in Magento I do not have uh, the gender field. So I'm just adding this customer. So this customer, I have added one new customer within my SAP Business One system. And through SBOE Connect automated triggers, it will be automatically uploaded to Magento. It will create a new web account. It will fire an email to the customer stating his new web account and his login user ID as well as his password to access his web account. So in this way customer will get notification email and they can log in and moving forward rather than customer calls me placing the order or send me an email customer can directly access his web account within Magento e-commerce and can place his order. So let's check within Magento how this, this thing how uh, the web account has been created. So I am within uh, my Magento demo store again but this time I need to access through admin panel to check the new customer because the new customer get an email at his email ID with a password auto generated password through which he can access his account but I do not have that knowledge of that auto generated password so I'm accessing through my admin panel I'm just logging into the customers let me log in here So this is my customer list which is generated within the Magento e-commerce admin panel and this is the new customer which is added actually within SAP Business One and uploaded to the web, get his web account, 
get an automated email at his email id assign to wholesaler group as per my choice being a business owner if i add in sap business one if this customer has some telephone number or some addresses it will also be uploaded to magento e-commerce so in this way customer synchronization work between the magento e-commerce and the sap business one system through sbo e-connect being a business owner i will always have a 360 degree view from which website customer has been registered from from which website the customer actually purchased something so i will always have that control and knowledge through this customer sync process let's move forward with the presentation towards the next next integration point so moving with the presentation the next integration point of is items so in item synchronization being a business owner i have the ability to upload and promote my erp items to the web all of the items which are listed within my sap business one system out of which the items which are actually finished goods i can upload that to the web as per my choice i can upload that to the web as simple configurable bundled or grouped product types within magento e-commerce all the product information the product categories the product attributes like the manufacturer or the size or the color i can set from within my backend system product pricing will be taken from my backend system so everything when i upload everything will be uploaded all product information will be uploaded to the magento e-commerce system shown shown to the customers and customer is able to place their order they will be able to purchase those items directly from within the web also i have the ability to attach multiple images against an item before uploading that to the web because you all know magento supports multiple images but within sap business one i do not have the ability to attach multiple images because sap the default screen item master data of sap supports only one image to be added in the remarks tab but through sbo e connect i have the ability to attach multiple images within my sap business one system upload that to web also i have the ability like in future if i define some new products within my magento e-commerce it will automatically be downloaded to the sap business one in business uh, in item master data with its inventory information so in this way this item synchronization will not only work for uploading data from the erp to the e-commerce system but also in future if you define some items within the e-commerce it can be downloaded seamlessly to the web to your back office system also some period discounts volume discounts like the special pricing or tier pricing of magento e-commerce you it can be supported from within the back office system itself it is fully integrated this discounting process is also fully integrated so let's have a look at the detail of this item synchronization through our demo environment so as i said first i will create a new item within my item master data so let's start with creating quickly a new item here suppose i would like to create iw001 uh it is a calculator which i would like to promote to my e-commerce storefront i'm putting some item price here like 30 us dollars and it's ready for the upload process in this way you may have many items within sap business one in this way you can create new items within your sap business one but the items which we you would like to upload or promote to the e-commerce storefront you just need to add those items to this screen which is called web item master data this screen is actually powered through sbo e connect add on which is installed within sap business one system so let's add the item which i need to upload to my web will be automatically uploaded if i add those items within this screen and basically all the data that you are viewing within this screen are basically the mandatory fields of magento which you need to define whenever you are adding any value within the magento e-commerce system i have the ability to add all those values here so i'm quickly selecting my item group of sap business one need to select the item here so i'd like to upload this item called iw001 which is a calculator 
I want I can specify the short description of Magento I would like to upload this item as simple product also you can see you have the ability to upload items as configurable grouped or bundled product from within SAP business one whenever you are adding configurable grouped or bundled product you need to assign the child products associated with it as per the Magento uh, as per the Magento uh, functionality a configurable bundled or grouped product types are complex product types which consists of some simple products as child products so you have the ability to add those child products within the screen itself so I'm adding here this item as a simple product for the demonstration I can assign some attributes here selecting some the attribute set I want this item will be a taxable good within my Magento e-commerce system I want this item should be enabled for online shopping and should be visible within my product catalog here I can upload this item to one or multiple websites I have all the websites listed but I would like to upload this item to particularly one website at this stage but I can also upload this item to the second website by adding the website name here I have the ability to attach images within my Magento e-commerce system if uh, within my SAP business one system if I wish against any item which is not available by default within SAP business one but through this add-on string you have the ability to attach images in attributes if I have some defined attributes within the default attribute set I can assign those attributes here like in this case custom color but let's uh, not do this at this demonstration but you can download all your attribute sets attribute values within the screen and you can assign attributes before uploading the item last the mandatory thing is the category you have to assign this item to a particular category in my case I'd like to assign this item to only one category which is de 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 defined within my Magento e-commerce system which is my store so I'm selecting this item to which should be added to default category under that my store and I'm adding this item within the screen whenever this item will be added it will be automatically uploaded to my Magento e-commerce system through SBO eConnect so let's check it within the Magento e-commerce system in admin as well as in user panel so I'm within my Magento e-commerce admin panel let's quickly check the product which I have added within SAP business one which should be uploaded to my Magento e-commerce system with all the product definitions which I have defined for Magento e-commerce so this is the product calculator which I have added within SAP business one and it's uploaded to my Magento e-commerce system so it's showing in within my Magento e-commerce platform with proper SKU with proper pricing and all other information and the product has been as added as a simple product which I have added within SAP business one system so in this way I can promote my ERP items to the web without any hassle just adding the items to the web customer web item master data and that items will be automatically uploaded so in this way you have the ability to only promote and upload your finished goods to the web and also have the ability to choose the finished goods which you only would like to sell online also as you can see here the quantity is zero because in SAP business one it's a new item which doesn't have any active stock so let's update the item stock in this case and through SBU connect whenever you update stock for any web item within SAP business one system it will be automatically update the web inventory so stock update is also in uh, happen within fully automatic manner also the other case of stock update like whenever any web order has been placed and decrease the web inventory it will also decrease the SAP business one inventory as well make the stock as committed whenever the delivery ha is happen the stock will become uh, from committed it will be it will be uh, deleted from the committed end and it will be uh, matched with the total availability so in this way uh, the business process mapping between the e-commerce and the ERP system happen within the SBA connect product so let's check it out how the stock update will work between SAP business one and Magento e-commerce system so here are the uh, important features for stock or inventory synchronization so inventory will be synchronized in both platforms in accordance with the order cycle that means 
if order are downloaded from Magento to SAP Business One, the Magento web inventory will immediately be decreased. But in SAP Business One, as per the ERP business process, it will be in committed mode until the delivery has happened. Also, if you upload your ERP orders to the web, that you have you have the flexibility to do that also. It will all the order uh, the inventory synchronization will also happen in that manner. Uh, according to the order cycle of each and every platform. Any stock update happen in Magento will be synced back to the SAP Business One system and change the web inventory. Also, whenever you do the goods received process within the purchase cycle of SAP Business One, it will update the web inventory as well. So synchronized stock between the both the systems has become easy, flexible and accurate and will be happened without any human involvement. So let's check it out within our demo server how this is happening. So I am uh, within my SAP Business One demo company, the test company. I have added one item, that item doesn't have any stock and promoted to Magento e-commerce platform showing it as out of stock there without any active quantity. Now I'm going to add some, uh, I'm going to do a quick goods, goods receipt through the inventory module here going to the inventory transactions I'm not following the standard purchase cycle for a quick demonstration process but in the actual business the goods received will always happen through the purchase cycle so let's quickly add that item the item starts with IW this is the item I am adding it the quantity of 20 the item unit price should be uh, 20 US dollars and I'm just adding the quantity as the goods, goods receipt. So now if you go to item master data, check the item here, go to the inventory, you will see in stock 20, available 20. Whenever any web order placed, based on the web ordered quantity, it will be committed within SAP Business One. So now let's check how in Magento I have done a stock update within SAP Business One has it automatically reflected the web inventory within Magento e-commerce. So let's check it out. So this is my Magento demo store and as I left the last screen, the quantity was zero. So in this window, if I just refresh the screen now, after the stock update happening within uh, SAP Business One, so as I can see after the window refreshed, the new value appears which is integrated from SAP Business One, updated the web inventory and the new quantity for this item is 20 as per my goods receipt process within my SAP Business One system. So in this way whenever any stock update happen within your back office system against any web item, it will automatically reflect uh, the web inventory within Magento e-commerce system. So now uh, let's get back to our presentation and moving forward with the next integration point which we have which is the order integration which has the most complex scenarios for any orders because orders can be placed by registered customers, guest, guest customers, orders can be placed against one location or multiple location, orders has taxes, orders has shipments associated. So let's check and let's continue with the presentation and also I will show you the order synchronization within our demo server. So in order integration we know that Magento being an e-commerce platform has the ability that the registered customer can place the order as well as the guest customers without registration they can also place the order. SBO Econet has the flexibility to sync all web orders to SAP Business One system, registered as well as guest checkout web orders. The tax and the shipping information, the shipping charges which are associated with the order along with the discounts, where any kind of discount it can be like through discount, through discount coupon or discount through any catalog or shopping cart price rule, any kind of discount will be synchronized along with the web order to SAP Business One and shown in SAP Business One sales order as discount. SAP user can have the flexibility to place the order within SAP Business One against any web account. So in this way, the B2B sales 
has also be catered through SBUE Connect like your customer the wholesalers suppose uh, for this for an example have the ability to place the order through their web account but on their phone call or based on their emails being a SAP user you also have the capability to create or place the order within the back office system which will seamlessly be uploaded to Magento e-commerce later on the wholesalers log into their account and they can see that the order has been placed against their name so in this way some B2B business scenarios are also catered with the SBU Connect integration platform the order status which is very important for the web customers they can always see and they are eager to see the order status updates whether the order is processed whether the order is shipped if shipped what is the tracking number through which they can track the web orders whether the order is invoiced if it's invoiced then where is the invoice they would like to see those invoices they would like to print for their own records so there are various associated activities which are available with uh, the order status so SPU Connect catering all these uh, information within uh, to the web customers so that you know they will be your satisfied customer always by getting the data of the most updated data from the back office system so let's check the order integration how it's happening between Magento e-commerce and SAP Business One system as well as I will uh, in this with this order synchronization I will cover also cover the invoices and uh, in invoices we all know that payments can be done on through online payments like through credit cards or through any other payment gateways like through PayPal or authorized.net also in some business cases the payment can be uh, the business owner can accept payment which are manual payments like payment through bank transfer cash on delivery payment modes SBOE Connect has all the ability to cater this diverse payment options like for online payments whenever any payment happen online through the payment gateways so at that time if the payment is successful a invoice an invoice will be created automatically along with the order within Magento e-commerce system so in, the, in that case for online payments SBU Connect will sync the invoice uh, and also the web order to SAP Business One system in case of online payments where the business owner has a PCI compliant card and they are saving the credit card information within Magento e-commerce system so in that case SBU Connect will sync the order, the invoice as well as the credit card information to SAP Business One system because customer is already, the business owner is already maintaining the PCI compliance. The third option is for manual payment. In manual payment, the orders are only created within Magento e-commerce. SBU Connect will sync those web orders to the SAP Business One system. Later on, after getting the payment, through cash on delivery or through bank transfer SAP Business One user will generate the invoices within the back office system SBU Connect will upload those invoices to the web showing that to the customers customer can print those invoices online which are actually generated within the back office system so in this way SBU Connect caters all scenarios of online as well as offline payments moving towards the in last integration point which is shipping which is also associated with the order whatever shipment charges calculated within the Magento e-commerce system from the, through the shipping gateways it can be dynamic charges it can be static charges it will be added within the SAP Business One sales order as freight because the freight accounts are uh, fully mapped with the uh, web shipping methods the second one is the delivery whenever the SAP Business One user decides to uh, deliver the shipment to the customer they will create the delivery document within their SAP Business One system and that delivery document will seamlessly be added within Magento e-commerce system as shipments customer will get updates within their email ID as well as within their account with the tracking number which actually B1 user put within the delivery document by getting those tracking numbers from the shipment couriers like from through FedEx through uh, UPS USPS they will get the tracking number 
they will they need to provide that to the customer they just add within the delivery document and it will be shown to the customers within the web so in this way shipments are also fully catered within the SBOE connect system and it is integrated between these two systems e-commerce and the ERP which is in this case Magento and SAP business one so let's move on to our demonstration server and let's see how order shipping and invoices are integrated obviously as you know it's a demonstration environment so I will not be able to show you the online payment options like the credit cards or payment through the live payment gateways like through authorized.net or through PayPal but I will I will be able to show you the uh, the concept of the integration between these two systems and through manual payment methods so let's go to our demonstration server so let's start where uh, we left in the first phase of customer registration I have registered as a customer here the customer name is Rob Daniels I have added one uh, item from the uh, SAP business one system let's being a customer Rob Daniels I'm straight away going to my store uh, within Magento e-commerce system and I can see this is the item which is uh, which is an ERP item so I do not know being an end user I do not know that this is an ERP item but I need to purchase a calculator so in just adding this calculator to cart this is the Magento shopping cart we all know it is very flexible shopping cart where you know you can increase the quantity you can check out with multiple addresses you can check out with single address so you have all the options and SB Connect is fully able to support check out with multiple addresses as well as check out with single address so both the options are supported through this integration platform so for this demo purpose I'm just proceeding to check out to have a quick check out so here uh, I can check out as guests I can register myself or I can simply log in so in this case I'm just simply log in because I'm already uh, registered myself as a registered customer billing and shipping information you also have the ability to create new billing address or shipping address within at the time of checkout this new billing shipping address will sync back to SAP Business One as well as new, this new billing shipping address will be added to the BP master data within SAP Business One. So in this way multiple billing shipping addresses are fully supported within the product. So let's quickly select ship to this address, click on continue. This is the some flat rate for shipping, I'm selecting this payment as I have told you I need to stick on with my manual payment method so I'm selecting check or money order so as I have selected manual payment methods so only the web order will be generated not the invoice because it's manual payment in case of online payment along with the order the invoices will also be generated instantly so here as I can see this is the product it has to uh, this order will have some shipping and handling charges this is the tax amount calculated within Magento because this was a taxable good and this is the grand total of the order I'm placing the order here so whenever a customer place order within Magento e-commerce system and that customer has an account within SAP business one system and that item is uh, the item having a presence within the ERP system the order will automatically be downloaded to Magento e-commerce uh, from Magento e-commerce to SAP business one SAP user will get an alert that a new web order has been placed they can quickly act on those orders ensure a quick order fulfillment and delivery and which ultimately ensures the customer satisfaction so let's check how this order integrated back to my uh, back office ERP system so now let's check the web order which I have placed being a web customer within my SAP business one system so as I can see whenever I logged into my demo server an automated alert popped up so what is the automated alert shown to me it's showing me that a new order has been placed 
So in this way, always the new web orders will be shown that a new web order has been placed and this is the customer who placed the web order. So I can see this is the web order details. It's SAP Business One code for the order is 3. Web order ID is 10. The customer name is Rob Daniels. So now let's go to the sales AR module of SAP Business One in the sales order. And I can search through the customer name or I can simply just go to the last web order and this is the web order which has been placed within the web, came within SAP Business One with all the details. In the customer reference number it's showing the web order number of which is generated within Magento e-commerce. So this provides you a search facility within your SAP Business One system. If you go into logistics you will see all the inf information like this customer belongs to this is the billing address this is the shipping address we have selected a shipping uh, type of flat rate shipping so in this way all the information will be available within my uh, SAP Business One sales order guest customers or che guest checkout orders will also be downloaded from Magento e-commerce to the SAP Business One and in SAP Business One you have the ability to select a particular customer as a, as a default customer against which all the guest checkout web orders will be came in and will be placed. So now let's quickly, uh, being a business owner, I have decided to deliver this order. So I'm ensuring a quick delivery. At the time of delivery, I'm just going to the logistics tab. I choose suppose FedEx as my uh, shipping courier and I got a tracking number which is TR4560. So I have added the tracking number, shipment tracking number within the delivery document of this uh, SAP Business One which is placed uh, against that SAP Business One sales order. So I am just simply adding this delivery document. So whenever you add this delivery document within SAP Business One system, this will be added as a shipment document within Magento. Customer will get an automated email within their email address that a new web order has been placed and that web order has been delivered, shipped at this shipping address through this courier and this is the tracking number. So all the information customer will get within email as well as within their web account. So now let's quickly check within my web customer account defined within Magento e-commerce system. So I'm just moving on to my Magento e-commerce customer account. So this is the customer account which I have where I have placed the order. So now let's quickly go to my account. Here I can see my last order which I have placed. The order status become processing. If you click on view order, you will get the information that this is the order details and uh, all the order item, all the information you will see as well as you will see a new link here which is called shipments. So if you click on the shipments link, this is the shipment document which is actually generated based on the delivery of uh, which happened within SAP Business One system. So if you check this shipment document, you will get all the information. This is the shipping address, this is the billing address, this, is, this was the payment mode, this was the shipping method, it can be FedEx, it can be UPS as per your uh, defined gateways, shipping gateways within Magento e-commerce system and this is the tracking number. If if Magento has already defined gateways like FedEx or UPS or USPS then, then this tracking number will automatically become a link hyperlink clicking on which it will be redirected to the website of FedEx and there will automatically a search will be placed against this tracking number and you will see what is the status of your shipment directly within the FedEx website or USPS website so in this way the delivery will affect the web account of the customer within Magento e-commerce system. Now as I have mentioned that uh, customer has selected the option to payment through the check or money order which we know is a offline payment method. So in offline payment methods being a business owner when I receive the money through check or through money order or through cash on delivery when I receive the payment I have to create the invoice within my SAP Business One system. That invoice will seamlessly sync back to the Magento e-commerce and shown to the customer. Customer will get an email regarding that invoice. Customer can access their account and they will get the invoice details within their web account. They can print that invoice anytime for their records. 
So invoice synchronization in this way will also happen between Magento e-commerce and SAP Business One through SBO eConnect. So let's quickly go into my SAP Business One system. This was the delivery document which I left. I'm just going to the last delivery. This was the last delivery. I'm just quickly copy it into AR invoice and just add this document here. So the invoice has been added. This invoice as this is generated from a delivery uh, which is based on the web order. So this invoice will automatically be uploaded to the Magento e-commerce system as a web invoice and customer will be notified against this invoice. So let's quickly check my Magento account here and let's see how this invoice is uploaded and what will be seen to the end customer. So I am again going into my account here within my Magento e-commerce system and this time I can see the order which I have placed the order status become complete. If I click on view order button I'll be able to see that along with order information and shipments I can see a new link called invoices. If you click on the invoices you will see the invoice generated against the web order. This invoice actually generated within SAP Business One system and uploaded to the web. Customer has the ability to print the invoice anytime as per uh, to get to keep their records, the invoice records with them. So in this way the invoice synchronization, shipment synchronization and moreover the order synchronization will work between Magento e-commerce and SAP Business One. So I have discussed almost all the functionalities of integration though I know that there are time limitations, there are many advanced functionalities and there are many uh, scenarios which are already co covered within SBO eConnect like guest checkout web orders or uh, in item synchronization, the co uh, synchronization of integration of uh, configurable products, bundled products, grouped products, placing order on those products. So all these are already catered within SBO eConnect but due to time limitation I will not be able to show you all those things within this short demo. So let's, let's now have a look at some advanced features which are added within this version of SBO eConnect which is SBO eConnect 2.3. So let's go to the presentation. So in this section we will discuss about the advanced features which are available within SBO eConnect 2.3 which are very required for any business for the business expansion specifically for future expansions. So the first feature with SB Connect 2.3 is all new license management system. So basically it's a complex term new license management system but in actual scenario it's not really complex. We all know that Magento supports multiple websites within a particular Magento installation. Each website can be targeted selling different different kind of items like through one website I'm selling electronic goods, in one website I'm selling shoes and apparels, in another website I'm selling some natural and organic products. And in SAP Business One side I have three different companies within the same SAP B1 installation. I have three different companies and three different databases through which this product sellings are happening and uh, through one company I'm controlling the business of shoes and apparels through another company I'm controlling the business of uh, the uh, I'm controlling the business of the electronic goods and through the third company I'm controlling the business of natural and organic products. So SBU eConnect 2.3 has all the ability to connect these three companies with three websites of Magento where Website 1 will exchange the data with company 1, website 2 with company 2 and website 3 with the company 3. So in this way SBA Connect provides you the flexibility to expand your business in future and if you want to add more integration to your new businesses you'll be able to do that without any hassle and without with easy, easy process which is present within the SBA, SBA Connect user interface. Also you have the ability when you have multiple connections and uh, suppose the first uh, site with, which I have uh, being a business owner which is selling electronic goods has the uh, where the largest number of traffic is there within the first site in electronic goods where large number of orders are placed per day, huge number of customers registered per day. So I can prioritize my connection that the first always through automated trigger 
the first connection will work uh, in first priority the second connection will work in second priority and the third connection will work in third priority so you have the ability to prioritize your integration connections within this multi connection scenario so I'll just uh, provide you a glimpse that how you can create multiple connections easily through SBU eConnect so let's get into the product now so this is the SBU eConnect user interface specifically for configuration options where whenever you are entering you first need to select the connection or you need to define a new connection I have already one connection with me so I'm selecting that connection here so I have selected one connection the next one is the server configuration section where you can define your SAP servers I have already defined one but you can create new new connections to your SAP servers in this screen again for Magento also I have one connection with my one test Magento website I can anytime define any new Magento website here so the in the first section you can create your you can uh, connect your SAP business one companies in the second section you can create uh, you can create your Magento connect website connections and in the third option you have the ability to map this like in connection one I have mapped my multiple company of SAP business one with my Magento connection test Magento website I have the ability to define any new one so in this way this connections you have the ability to create multiple connections of SAP business one you have the ability to create multiple Magento connections and map that Magento with SAP business one through this section so this is pretty easy when you are doing uh, with little bit of product training uh, at the time of through our uh, product experts being a business owner you can create these connections by yourself without any hassle and can start integrating more businesses through SBO eConnect also in uh, automated service control if I go I have the ability to set my connection priority like I have only one connection now but if I have connection 2 or connection 3 if I would like to uh, set the connection 3 as the first priority I can anytime up and down this through this up and down arrows so in this way multiple connections uh, when you are dealing with multiple connections you can set the priorities within SBO eConnect user interface you have all the abilities to do that so let's move on the presentation here so I have uh, in the last few slides in this presentation as well as in the live demo I have tried to provide you a glimpse of the product there are many options which are available which are catering different different aspects different different industries where SBU Connect already implemented and proved to be an effective solution for those businesses like uh, also it provides a benefit to your business in many ways like first of all the easy, easy to use so as you know all the integration points are fully automatic the user interface is pretty easy to use which provides you higher productivity e-commerce and ERP business processes are typically different different business processes with different different way of managing the sales cycle the inventories the items the customers but it's through SBU connect everything is mapped in a proper way without any violation of e-commerce or ERP business cycle all the integration will happen in fully automatic manner without any human intervention you need not to do any double entries it eliminates your human involvement errors data redundancies data duplication in many ways it will help you version compatibility it's compatible with SBO eConnect it's compatible with Magento Community Enterprise Professional Editions it's compatible with SAP Business One 2007 8.8 8.81 .8, and currently as you know 8.82 is in the ramp up and we are also doing our testing uh, within the ramp up version of 8.82 as soon as the full version released being an SAP partner whenever we receive the full version of 8.82 will definitely make it compatible with SAP Business One 8.82 currently it's working fine with the ramp up version of 8.82 the implementation and maintenance is pretty easy it's not a problem the product has some patch updates regularly which is provided to the existing customers they are just there 
IT managers just simply click on those patches and it, these are installed within the product. Our support team, our dedicated support team is there who are uh, well versed with different different time zones for US, for UK, European, for APGA as well as for Africa and region also. So it is, the implementation of maintenance and support is also pretty easy for uh, SBV Connect and effective. And above all, it provides you seamless connectivity and increase your efficiency. You have all the control within yourself. You have the error logs. You have the sync logs. You can refer through those logs. You have the alerts within SAP Business One through which you will understand what are the operations happened within the B1 system through the web activities. So these are uh, some benefits to your business. Obviously, there are many more benefits which you, being a business owner, you will be able to find out once you implement SBU Connect within your web and your ERP system. Customers are always one of our uh, uh, most uh, valuable feedback providers, customer feedbacks. During the last two years, whenever when we launched SB Connect 1.0 and today when we launched SB Connect 2.3, it's always the customers whose feedback uh, makes the product more comprehensive, more robust. And in this way, we will definitely grow with our existing as well as uh, uh, existing customers as well as existing partners. So we'd like to thank all of our valued customers and partners for providing their uh, feedbacks, their opinions and their suggestions towards the product improvement. Obviously, here we'd like to focus on our ac access uh, to in various regions across the world where we have uh, customers as well as the presence of our reseller partners through which the product is grown, product is localized as per their suggestions in different different currencies, in different different languages and different different ACP cultures are very important because uh, in some regions like in South American region there are different ACP business one settings are uh, they are using and when we uh, got some customer from South American region we have come make our product compatible for this section so in this way the product become uh, the product grown to be compatible for all the regions I know if you uh, you you will certainly have some questions because there are many areas which due to time limitation I'm not able to cover up but uh, first of all, I'd like to request you to visit the website sbuconnect.com where we have a very strong FAQ section where you will get the answer of many of your questions. Regarding pricing, licensing, you, I'd like to request you to refer the same website sbuconnect.com. If you have uh, any more query after uh, viewing the uh, FAQs or the pricing licensing section, please write us an email through sbuconnect.insync.co.in. You will definitely uh, get the answer within uh, one working day. And here are our phone numbers. Uh, you can write it down. These phone numbers are also available within the website. So anytime you can call us, we'll definitely reply you back at our earliest. Thanks for your time and uh, thanks for your patience. We'll meet soon. Thanks.